Hey Taurus, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of March. Please keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. All right, Taurus. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with you guys in the month of March. And you all know that the readings can go vice versa, so just take it however it fits. And of course, I love each and every one of you, so thank you so much for the support. Alright guys, let's see what's going on with you guys this month. Ooh, release your ex try to jump out. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's see. Spirit, if you can give me three cards for Taurus going on with Taurus in the month of March please let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally okay what's going on with Taurus please finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now then I have flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others bottom of the deck calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay is there a taurus out there dealing with an aries because i don't know why i just heard aries or you guys yeah that's not for everybody but that's for some of y'all and i just did aries re reading too so this is interesting so if you're dealing with an Aries, y'all might want to go listen to that reading. Or if you have Leo, just try to jump out of my hands. What is going on with y'all? <laughs> but overall, I feel like Taurus, this is either you or someone that you're dealing with. Somebody basically is really stubborn. Y'all know y'all can be stubborn. We ain't going to go there. Okay. But anyway, I feel like there is somebody that is very stubborn. Somebody is really focusing on their money right now. You know, whether that's just you trying to just, you know, dig yourself out of a situation where you're feeling like, okay, financially speaking, you're not where you want to be, or this is just you stacking more money, you know? So I feel like right now that's your focus and spirit is saying they want you to put yourself out there to flirt because maybe you guys could have given up on love. Maybe you guys are just tired, but yeah, they wanted you to, you know, put yourself out there, flirt because you guys have been manifesting a soulmate. So, hmm, let's see what's going on with Taurus month of March Taurus maybe some of you guys are trying to get out of a situation you know that you're not happy in and you're manifesting to be with someone else but let's just see how this plays out with you guys Taurus alright Taurus let's see alright guys here we go bottom of the deck look at that ace of cups so sorry for the glare but anyway um, I feel like, yeah, there's an offer. There's some type of blessing coming in for you guys. This could be someone coming to you or you're going to someone else extending a love offer, something that you basically want, need, and deserve. Yeah, I'm seeing here somebody doesn't want you guys to cut them off. Maybe you guys don't want to walk away. But see, back and forth with the King of Swords, I'm telling you, one minute, somebody feels like, you know, they're going to get cut off. The next minute, they're like, Ugh, I don't want you to go. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's emotional right now because a decision has to be made. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. Look at that. I have three people already. So this is definitely some type of third party situation, Taurus. Hand, look at that bottom of the deck. That's why there's no balance. There's definitely some type of third party situation here. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But you see, I have two men and one woman. It could be two women, one man. Depends on the situation. Y'all know how I feel about my court cards. But regardless, there is some type of third party situation going on here. And... Oh, Jesus. Spirit is saying they need you guys to be confident and you need to walk away. I feel like you guys are. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, but they're definitely saying that you need to walk away. This situation is not good. I feel like you guys see the truth, but you're having a hard time because maybe someone's trying to hold on to you because they don't want you to walk away from them. Tell me more. 
But yes, I told you. It's like, you guys, there's no balance here. There's no balance in this situation that you were in or you are currently in. See, the three of cups tried to come out reverse. I'm telling you, you're walking away from some type of third-party situation. You could be dealing with an Aries. Didn't I tell y'all? I feel like I heard Aries in the beginning. Some of y'all need to go listen to that Aries video because either... You're dealing with an Aries. They have Aries in their chart or this is, you got Aries somewhere in your chart. It's in your placement. But I'm telling you, I heard Aries. Y'all need to go listen, okay? But either which way, I feel like you guys are wanting stability in your life. And the person that you've been dealing with, they're not bringing stability at all. See, this could be a family situation with two, four. Somebody could be living with someone. This could be, you know, a relationship, marriage, or just something that someone is committed to. But the thing is, you're wanting things to improve financially speaking. You're wanting stability there. And that's why I told you guys with that finances and career card, I felt like somebody's just been focusing on themselves, focusing on money because either they took some type of hit and they're trying to get their money back to where it needs to be or somebody's just, you know, saying F love, whatever. I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on the bag. That's what they want. Tell me more. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I'm telling you, somebody's losing hope. They're having a hard time right now. Tell me more. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo, but I'm seeing that, yeah, somebody's isolating themselves right now, okay? Because they're not listening to their intuition. And they're not moving forward. Somebody's still going through their lessons right now. Somebody's definitely going through lessons. It could be you. You know, Taurus, I'm telling you, if spirit is saying like, you know, you guys need to walk away from the situation, but you're hesitating, that's why you're still going through lessons. Even though you know you don't want to move forward with this person, you're just trying to figure out how to get out of this, you know, because it could be a family situation, something that's tied in with this person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I'm telling you, I just keep seeing this person's focusing on money. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. I just see you guys focusing on money. There's something that took place with you, Taurus, and you're wanting things to improve there. Look at that. In order for things to improve, you had to walk away. You got to leave this other person. You, you, got, you have to. You have to because, like I said, either there's like um, you're dealing with someone and there's like another um, love interest. This could be family interfering. This could be even them, like the third party could be career. You know, maybe this other person just so focused on themselves and they're leaving you out and hanging. Maybe somebody's making bad decisions financially speaking. And now you're always the one having to pick up the pieces and you're tired of it. It's a lot of you guys so just take whatever fits. But yeah, I see you guys walking away. Look at that. There's the Hierophant. Taurus, this is you. You could be dealing with another Taurus, but honestly, because I picked up home, I'm telling you, this is some type of contract that you have with this person. For some of you guys, you could be married to this individual, you know, and it's just like, yeah, you're making a decision to leave. I feel like you're walking, but some of you guys are trying to work things out, but I, look at this. This person keeps leaving you out in the cold. They keep leaving you out in the cold, financially speaking. You know, and I feel like at one point you guys were moving slow to figure out what to do, but now you're getting ready to pick up the pace because it's like the seeds that you planted, you want them to grow. But see, I told you, there's some type of family situation. So somebody could be, you know, in a relationship with someone they have a child or children with. Somebody could be, you know, married, they have kids. It's something like that. There's definitely some type of family situation, and that's why a lot of you guys don't know what to do. It's like you're not happy with how things have been playing out, but at the same time, you're like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't want to break up, you know, my, my family, you know, but at the same time, I feel like I'm sinking. This is why you're putting in a lot of work into yourself. You're putting a lot of work into, you know, a lot, I just heard business. So maybe some of you guys have your own business, but for just in general, you guys are working really hard on getting your money together. See? Because it's been a lot of arguing going on, I feel like, with you and this other person. You know, this is you battling yourself as well. You know, in your head, like, what to do? You know, because some of you guys could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But I feel like the person that you're dealing with, it's like they, they keep things to themselves. Like, I'm not going to say they sneaky, but they could be sneaky. <laughs> but it's just kind of like... This person has a hard time opening up, ex expressing themselves. It could even be you, you know, having a hard time opening up. 
But see, you're frustrated because it's like all of the work that I put in into this situation, into this relationship, into this marriage, it's, it feels like it's going down the drain, you know, and you guys are upset about it because look, I feel like you guys have been giving to this person. You've been trying to give to this relationship, give to this marriage, but I feel like there's something coming in for you. Look at that. But you guys are being cold and harsh. You're coming off like the queen of swords. You want to hear this person out. This person that you were dealing with, they could even be trying to come back in, trying to help you out now all of a sudden, trying to do what's right. But at the same time, you're like, I don't know if I can trust it because we've been doing this time and time again. And I keep getting left in the same position, in the same situation. You know, I'm tired of it. Your guard is up. You guys are coming off really cold and harsh to this person. Look at this. It's two women here. Some of you, I'm telling y'all, there's a third party here. The fact that I even have three people on this row, now, remember before I had two men and one woman. Now I have two women and one man. I told y'all with court cards, it can go either way. That's why it's like, whatever comes out, cool, but just take it however it fits. But again, there are three people here. There are three people. There's somebody interfering. There's definitely somebody interfering. This could be, again, family. It could be another love interest. You know, it could be friends. It could be, it's something, but I'm, there's three people here, hands down, you know, and this is the problem. This is the problem. Whether some of you guys realize it or not, that's the issue. And see, you guys aren't happy. You're not happy at all. Because see, there's going to be a tower moment. I feel like by you guys not moving, not doing what needs to be done, there's going to be a shakeup. See, because you're going to receive communication. Look, the truth is coming out. Look at that. And you're going to feel heartbroken. Somebody's finding out about a third party. So somebody that you're dealing with, Taurus, I feel like they could have been dealing with someone else. Cross watcher, if you're dealing with a Taurus, you're going to find out that they're in a situation with someone else. And see, Spirit is saying you need to have the strength. Don't let this stop you from what you've been doing, what you need to do. Because remember, I told you, you guys got to focus on yourself. You guys got to focus on the money, focus on the bag right now, because... Whatever this situation is, I feel like if you guys, how can I say this? I know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to just get it out. What I don't want you guys to do is get so upset because this is going to hurt somebody out here. And then it's like, you know how when you get upset, you kind of don't want to deal with people. You may, you know, call out of work. You may shut down your business for a day or two, even though, yes, you guys are focused on money. But this right here is going to hurt. And Spirit is saying, don't let that get to you because if you do, it's going to mess with your money. So it's kind of like take it with strides. Like, okay, you did X, Y, and Z. Okay, you know, I found the truth out. All right, yes, it hurts. Yes, I hate that I'm going to have to do this, but I'm just going to take it day by day. You're not going to affect what I'm trying to do. Look at that. The, oh, my God. See, the fact that these two cards came out, this is telling me that somebody's trying to balance things out with their money. Some of you guys could have taken some type of financial loss. I, I'm definitely telling you. I'm feeling that. I feel like you guys are trying to dig yourself out of a hole. There is something going on with your money tours or cross watcher. You know, this is the issue. And see, a lot of you guys can't sleep. You're in your head. You're worried about your money, about your family, about what this person, you know, put you through. And see, with the nine of pentacles reverse, you don't have a peace of mind. I'm telling you about everything. But you see the fact that I have two nines here? This cycle that you guys have been going through is getting ready to come to an end. It is coming to an end because see, if this person comes back trying to give you an offer, you're not going to take it. You know, it's like, you don't bring stability. I'm tired of having to go through this. See, it's like, you want a commitment, but you're kind of like, how many times am, are we going to keep having to go through this? You know, yes, I want to be with you, but I don't know. I may have to put an end to it. As much as I care about you, as much as I love you, you know, I, I can't keep doing this. Somebody could be dealing with the a Scorpio here, but I feel like this situation is waking you guys up. Look at that. I told you somebody's not moving forward. Somebody's not moving forward. It's like, I love you. We're in a relationship. We're in a marriage, but I can't keep doing this. I can't keep helping you. I can't keep giving to you. You know, you keep taking from me. Could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah. See, you guys are coming out of being frustrated Taurus. The queen of pentacles just tried to come out reverse. I'm telling you, you guys are like, I can no longer do this. I'm not putting any more time, effort, or energy into this. See, this is you making changes. 
Taurus, you can make a change. You're like, I'm not doing this anymore, see? But Spirit is saying you're just moving really slow to do it. See, justice could be dealing with the Libra. But I feel like for some of you guys, I, I'm telling you, there's some type of contract. Some of you guys are married. I'm really picking up on that. Somebody's married. Um, somebody could have a business with someone else. Um, it, it's like a living situation. There's some type of contract here, hands down. That's why you're having a hard time trying to figure this out. Clarify justice. See? Seven of Pentacles reverse. I told you, you guys were moving slow because of money. You were waiting for something. Now you're like, nope, I can't do this. See? Judgment. I'm telling you, this is some type of legal situation going on. You already know this. You're waiting on a decision. I did not tell y'all the Queen of Pentacles was trying to come out reverse. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but you are no longer putting any time, effort, or energy into this because you're realizing there was no balance here. Look at, oh my gosh. But by you putting it into it, Spirit is saying stay positive because you're birthing something new. There is something new that's going to begin for you guys. Look at that, but you're frustrated because you're unsure if you're making the right decision. You know, and you're frustrated because you're feeling stuck, but you guys know you're not going to have a new beginning. It's like, I'm, I can't keep doing this. This person doesn't bring balance at all, you know, in, in our love life, in our marriage, you know, with the kids, with the business. See, there's codependency. This person's very codependent to you. You guys are dealing with someone who leans on you a lot. And this is why you feel drained financially speaking. That's why you guys are focusing a lot on your money. So again, I'm telling you, you're going to make a decision. You're going to turn things around. You're like, no more. But see, you guys are frustrated. You're frustrated because you're like, why do I even have to do this? Why do I have to go through this? But you know you don't want to build with this person anymore. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's hard. Because see, ultimately, you wanted to have a victory with them. You did. For some of you guys, you still do. But it's like, at what cost? At what cost? That's why it's to the point you guys are moving forward. You're no longer looking back. You're, you're, you're tired. See, and by you moving in that direction, things are getting ready to improve for you, Taurus. But see, I told y'all, this is some type of family. This is some type of living situation. This is like marriage, home, all of that. You don't have happiness here. Y'all are tired. There's no stability there. See, look, the person that you've been dealing with, they're very immature and childish. You tried. So this is you guys taking a leap. You're leaving this person. This could even be you getting advice. You know, some of you guys could be talking to a lawyer, talking to friends, family. You're healing from feeling betrayed, feeling stabbed in the back by this individual because you no longer are falling for the nonsense. You're no longer falling for them trying to say, well, let's work things out. You know, here's an offer. And then because I feel like they were doing it in the past and you guys kept falling for it. You kept taking them back. But this person's really codependent to you. See, communication. I told you they're going to try to come back. And, you know, offer when they see that you're serious and you're cutting them off, they're like, oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 you know, I got to try to fix this really fast. And they're going to come back trying to give you an offer. But honestly, the way this is looking, I wouldn't take it towards you do what you want. Listen to your intuition. But whoever I'm talking to, do not take this offer. See, they're going to try to come back offering you a brand new start. They want a new opportunity. But I feel like a lot of you guys peep the game here and you guys are like, you know what? No, I don't want this offer. You're speaking your truth. And by you doing that, you're moving in a new direction. You have a new opportunity coming to you. <sighs> yeah, because you're tired of this in and out. But I feel like this is you guys trying to make a decision. See, it's money. There's something with money here for someone. It's like you're not happy. But look, you decide to let them go. The fact that I have two tens here, I'm telling you, that cycle that you've been going through with this person is wrapping up. Two tens let, lets me know that there is a new start, some type of new beginning that will take place for you. Three tens, angel number. Look, I can't make this up. There's definitely a completion. You guys are getting out of this situation, hands down. You're done. If you guys have a child, children with them, you're married to them, it's a living situation, whatever it is, I don't care. If you're helping with like um, family, situation like that, you're done. The fact that all three tens came out reverse. There's an ending here. You're like, no, I'm not doing this. You're putting the ending so you can have your new beginning elsewhere. Ooh, Taurus. Oh, y'all got to leave me some comments on this one, okay? Because, oh, yeah, y'all, please leave me some comments. I'm going to just say that. Um, 
I want y'all to stay positive though, seriously. Y'all need to keep your head up because just the energy, even what I'm feeling on my chest, this is this is some heavy stuff, even though I, you know, I went through it, but it's heavy. So somebody's really either going through it right now or they're getting ready to go through it because you have to make some really tough decisions. But I want you to know there is a light at the end of the tunnel and I'm seeing happiness, but you have to get away from whoever this is, okay? All right, Taurus, I love you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, I will put the information in the description box. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye, Taurus.